<clears throat> so a little while ago, I showed you a contraption, a little mini spinner type deal that could take any beverage that happens to be warm and make it cold in like 60 seconds and not just cold like, oh, that's a little bit cool. No, like ice cold. So you didn't need to have it in the fridge. So someone could come over to your house, bring a case of, let's say, beer if you're into it and not have to worry about refrigerating it. Instead, cooling it down on demand. Go watch the video, you could, you could tell for yourself, but it required wall power, so it wasn't super portable. It's a little bit large, you know, it took up some space, and for some people, it was a little bit pricey. Today, I'm about to show you another one of those things, a portable drink chiller. It's way less expensive, the link will be in the description. It's completely portable and it can run off batteries. It's called the Spin Chill. This is what it is, it's handheld, chills drinks 20 times faster, ridiculously cold drinks. It'll do a can of beer in one minute, a bottle of beer in three minutes, and it'll even do a bottle of wine. Maybe you got a nice little, uh, a, a nice little dry white wine. If you've ever drank beer before, you know that ice waters it down. In fact, ice waters down any drink. So if you could chill this way, then you could have a more chill time. What's happening with the spin, and the reason the spin is important is because it moves the warm liquid from the center to the, to the outskirts of the can. Moves the liquid around to the outside. There's a greater surface area, that warm liquid, that interacts with this cold liquid. I've got the infrared thermometer. I'm gonna be, I'm blasting. What happens if I shoot them? Can they, did, are they blind now? Did I just destroy the sensor on the camera? Who knows, maybe. I'm gonna be measuring the exact temperature of the beverages prior to going in here for their little bath, their little ice bath, and then afterwards. So that's it. That's the spin chill right there. Four double A's. That's the action. Simple, spinny action. Bowls in Canadian, of course. I mean, I guess that's roughly the temperature Room temperature, really. Just clips onto the top. Check that out. And then, bath time. <laughs> so we're gonna dunk it. And we're gonna start spinning. <laughs> Look at that little guy go! What do I got? All right, that should do it. All right, I'm gonna hit the button. Ooh, 19.7. Is that good enough for any of us? Not for me, I'm gonna put it back in. I like an ice cold beverage, and I'm not messing around when I say ice cold. I mean, you could drink it like that, and it's now a cooler beverage than room temperature, but if you want ice cold, take the extra minute, right? Okay, let's check it out now. 16.5 Celsius, 61.9 Fahrenheit. Okay, let me crack that and see how ice cold that is. A lot of people said, no way! How can you just crack it open? What about the spinning? It does not affect the carbonation in the can, look. Nothing, no foam. Mm -hmm. Okay, 15 degrees Celsius is plenty cold. Actually, do me a favor, Ryan. Go grab me a fridge beer. We're gonna do a comparison. Around 14 point, 14 and a half is an ice cold fridge beer. This was at 15.9. I could get it down to 14, probably with another minute in there, I would say. It also works for bottles. There's a circle in the center which is sized up for the top of a bottle. Bottle is 22.8. 13.2. Does it work? Yeah, it does. It's not gonna be a minute, it's gonna be a couple of minutes. It's gonna be way faster than just d dunking your can in here, which can take a long time. You know, if you just show up at a party, you wanna drink your specific beer, your favorite beer, and that wasn't in the cooler yet but you can kick it off straight away. You'd be the coolest guy at the whole place with the spin chill. 